driving. I got the Q3 ready today, made sure the coolant was okay, oil levels are okay, tyres and pressures are all kind of done now, but we're carrying loads of extra weight and it's got full tank of fuel. Disc pad's fine, lines were recently serviced, it's already had an engine service too. Filled up the washer fluid, made sure that was all full, gave the engine bay a bit of a detail, don't know why. I gave the car such a nice clean, the interior's gorgeous and it looks absolutely amazing. I love applying tyre sham, but I'll show you that when we stop. Got some new wipers as well. Make sure the foot, we've got our first aid kit, we've got a fire extinguisher, warning triangles, high vids vest, and all the other good stuff that you need. I will make sure that I know, or put on the screen everything, or maybe I'll just show you everything that you actually need to drive to these countries, because there are some requirements, like in Austria, you need to buy a, a, a toll sticker, and that's because most of the roads in Austria are class of toll roads. And you need emissions oh, stickers. And you need emissions stickers to Germany. France and Germany. Oh, France and Germany. Currently recording on my phone, it's got all my equipment. We had a hectic day today. I mean, a proper hectic day. Do you know what? I just saw Shmi, or Shmi, uh, go to the Porsche Museum and it really got me really excited. I really cannot wait because... And the Mercedes uh, one, they're only 20 minutes from each other. Yeah, I'm really excited we'll, to go to the They're open in the evening, so we'll, we'll do one in the evening as well. Okay, cool. I'm going to vlog this whole journey now. We're driving to Birmingham, getting some food, Punjabi mixed grill. I don't know if anybody's ever had one of the Birmingham Punjabi mixed grills. They're super nice. We're going to a place called Soho Tavern. And tomorrow we drive to Folkestone. I thought it was Dover that we're driving to, but that's only if you get the ferry. Got to Birmingham, and I kid you not, it really feels like, it feels like we're in a, a different country. I'm not even going to lie. It's like, it's like the street the car up we're now going to go to our hotel but an early early start in the morning just so we can get to folks on time food was amazing let me know if you've ever had a mixed grill before and we will catch you then Alicia is obsessed with Porsches but now she's upset the fact that this Porsche is part of this close but, I mean that is quite close oh do you know what gives me you know oh, look how nice those tires look I love a satin finish, the auto glimpse satin finish is amazing. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ranj, I hope you're doing well. Please do stick around because I'm actually going to be touring Europe with my partner Alicia, my girlfriend, over the next two weeks. The end destination is Austria, so we've got multiple stops along the way. So if you are new here, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon for future notifications. Do you just go straight or do you go left? Okay. From the back of the car? Side, rear side, I think. Rear side? Oh, does it say on it? I don't actually know. Oh, oh inside? Yeah, so hold that, that goes on the inside. Guys, forgive me, this is not good. Detailers are going to kill me. Yeah. Just shove one at the front? No, you don't need it at the front. It's not a requirement. So there you go. You need one of them. So we're going through passport control now. I don't, you just say you're not allowed to have So go on the right round. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you know what's really interesting? That's the same question they ask you like uh, at the airport, like what's your final destination? Yeah, what you're doing, where you're going, how much money you're taking, uh, yeah. when are you back home? That seagull is huge. Well, he's going that way, I don't think it matters. Okay. That's, what, that's how it works? Wow. Guys, if I could only show you this, but it's proper cool, like, right, at least just getting B5. some footage hopefully. Yeah, no, this one's yeah. fine. Wow, you literally just drive on. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't, I don't think this is ours. Guys, this is weird. I need my actual spectacles now because this is getting dark in here. So guys, me and Alicia are now on the Le shuttle. I think we actually got an earlier slot. It was weird, I was like, shit, shit, are we moving? But yeah, we are. So we got here in ample time from Birmingham. I thought we were going to be late, but apparently if you're late, they just basically put you on the next slot. I think um, if you're early, they just put you on whatever the next one is. Oh, the earlier one? Yeah, we'll just yeah. see um, when we leave. The Le Shuttle, I've never been on anything like this before, but the only thing I can describe it 
in terms of similarity is like the tube it's like it's like being on a bigger tube but for a car there's no seats it's quite nice being in your car because it makes you feel a little bit at ease and a little bit at home you've got windows everywhere but obviously i'm assuming when you go through the tunnel it's going to go all dark there's lighting in here i'll show you exactly what the, the shuttle looks like the channel soon but it's really weird really really weird but yeah here's what everything so this is what i meant by the carriage so it's about four car four cars in this carriage and yeah really cool so as you can see we've got the magnetic uk sticker you can't have gb anymore apparently it used to be gb freshly washed this car so i am going to rinse it when i get a chance but a heap of flies right now you can go on the lower deck as it says there au revoir for now it should only take 35 minutes to actually get to calais so that's quite good as well make sure you've got your water you've got some snacks obviously even though it's 35 minutes you are we've been here for a little while now am i right in thinking they bored you an hour before or something like that yeah you can start from an hour before yeah so there you go so one thing you can see that i've already done is essentially change the fuel range in km and also the speedo in kmh just because obviously when you cross the water they don't count things in miles per hour anymore so, ali can we launch control your car yeah Please. No. I've been watching no. YouTube videos. <laughs> I've been watching YouTube videos about how to launch Q3, so hopefully we can do it. Guys, as you can see, or hopefully you can see, it's a bit brighter in here. We've actually arrived in Calais. That was rapid. That was like 10 minutes. It was minutes. really quick. Maybe 35 minutes for the whole journey in terms of actually getting off and stuff like that, but the actual journey itself is no more than 15 minutes max. We're in Calais. That's the thing, the arrows. The good thing is we're only going straight. Yeah. We have to drive underneath those, so I think because we're getting out of it, oh, I think it's normal. Now, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's all normal. How does it feel, Alicia? It's a bit odd. Yeah, it does. I was first, I was like, you know, do you need to drive on the right for, uh, straight away? But no, you don't. You, I think to be fair, you, you, you know, when the you see. The arrows on the floor say straight away yeah. in that lane, so I'm gonna assume. It's yeah, it crazy. makes sense. <laughs> God, do you know what would be my worst nightmare driving and people are coming towards me? I'm like, shit. I know. I think Stay to the right, Ali. What does that mean? I know, like, is no, it? No, no, no. We're going on to something now where there'll be opposing traffic. So people are going to be on the left of us, not the right. Do you understand? Right, okay. <laughs> We've just gone to the check in at the hotel. Careful of that car. And ah, I'm yeah. at the wrong holiday inn. He was like, oh, I can't find your booking. So I showed it to him and he goes, oh, that hotel's 15 minutes away. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Awesome start to the journey now. It's okay, it's only 15 minutes away. And to be fair, what he said was, and what Alicia said was, our hotel would be near uh, loads of restaurants. So when we got here, I was like... We're in the countryside, they've got chickens in the fields. Yeah, I was like, how's... That doesn't really make sense. So what he said makes sense. It's been even funny if he said it was like one hour, 15 minutes away, then I would have been like, listen, I don't care, I'm staying here tonight. We have made it to the right hotel, haven't we? <laughs> this this holiday isn't... This one's not as nice, the other one no, was nice. No, it's not that nice. And the, the other was one was like... more expensive, but I was like, this is a small town, I don't care where I'm staying. Not me, 114. 104. Oh, 104, right. Gonna knock on someone else's room. Go and do the honours. Ooh, it's quite big. it is. It's way bigger than the other one, and they were nice enough to give us a bottle of water. The last hotel never even. Get... And we've got a balcony border. <laughs> oh, that is somewhat of a nice view. Nice little terrace. Is it steady? Yes. It looks like it's been raining here. But yeah, there we go. That is our view. One night in Calais. I might make my song. One night in Cali makes a grown man. You know that one like in Hangover? So yeah, no, we're here now. I'm happy with the right hotel. We are starting. Uh, hopefully it's nice. I saw a burger, so I was like, I'm sold. So yeah, I'll let you know what it's like. We had our dinner and it was nice. We had to sit outside and I'm freezing, I'm shattered. Cup of tea, Leisha's got a crepe. And I look at mine. Nice. Good. Me and Alicia are now leaving Cali. I'm, I don't know, are you tired? Yeah, I am. I'm shattered, like, <laughs> really tired. We're driving to Paris now, we just had breakfast. I didn't eat a lot, it was a proper waste, to be fair. And I'm not doing the driving for the first part of the trip, but I drove all of yesterday, literally, so Alicia's gonna do the driving. It'll be a good chance for her to kind of get used to things. Alicia, <laughs> we just had to walk all the way back because Alicia forgot her bag, and it's got quite a lot of stuff in it, like euros and stuff. So, Alicia, what have you got to say for yourself? <laughs> Main thing is, she got it back. We're now setting off to Paris. How does it feel? It feels weird. Driving. I feel like I'm speeding because this is 115, but it's in kilometres. Yeah, so Alicia, prior to this, was doing 90, 
or 90 kilometers, <laughs> which is like 50 miles per hour. They didn't realize. And they realized that it's the national speed limit on the French national speed limit is 130. Um, 120. No, 130. So it's 80 miles per hour. We are two hours and 43 minutes away from Paris and we'll drive us maybe halfway through. Yeah, I'll do a bit. so well and she has actually got us to Paris safely. Into Paris it is quite tight, loads of cars, it's not very clear as to who can go. That is mint. I love a Volvo like that. Guys we made it to Paris, a little bit confusing but we have a car parking space reserved for us so we're staying at Hotel Indigo. We stayed at Hotel Indigo when we went to Thailand, Philippines. I think it was Thailand, Philippines? Or maybe just Thailand. It was the first time we ever stayed there. It's a wicked hotel, really quirky. I'd recommend if you ever get the chance to stay at Hotel Indigo and it is on the options, stay there. It's pretty cool. This car park, look at that. I'd l I would have loved to bring my S3, but no. This car, miles per gallon, is crazy. So this is still on the full tank from England. I didn't even full tank it. Really? In Manchester? So Alicia didn't even full tank it in Manchester, yet we've not even filled up again. I think we've got 110 kilometers left, which is crazy. Oh. So like I said, the Hotel Indigo is super nice. Let me show you. Welcome to our crib. Look how nice this is. Like I said, loads, really, really quirky Hotel Indigo. Um, yeah, bathroom's gorgeous. But the view is amazing. Look at this. Look how beautiful that view is. Gorgeous peng weather guy. But yeah, beautiful. It is baking, but as you can see, we've got the love behind me. It's Ramo here, so busy. Guys, is that the Eiffel Tower? I think it might be Ali. Today is our proper first day in Paris. I'm now ready. Did some shopping at H&M yesterday, if anybody's interested. But I doubt you know. We're gonna hit up the Eiffel Tower today. We went to the love yesterday. We might Go to the Louvre tomorrow actually inside. I actually didn't even know the Mona Lisa was inside the Louvre. Shows how much I know about history and so and so. hotel now guys I had to drive I actually don't know what it's called yeah let me see what it's called I had to drive around the Arc de Triomphe and I kid you not it was a free for all roundabout it was mental um, look at that it's a nice day CLS 63 uh, where is it there it's nice guys we've got a GL E63 a Maybach there we've got a Porsche there the cars are definitely getting better here RSQ3 there Oh, another Porsche there, Targa. One's getting done in there, 440i. We've got Ferrari Roma. K&S, but look at the Ferrari. We saw one of these in satin black in uh, Rome. Look at that, the, the exhausts are like titanium. They must be gold, they must be because they're gold. Wow, and then you've got the Aston Martin, you've got the Bentley showroom, you've got the nice Continental GT. Oh, it's doing it. Oh, there's a minute up? left, that's why. Oh, I'm going to have to go up then and turn around. Oh, wait. Oh, she's doing it now. Is it? Ali, yeah. Whoa. Look at the trees blocking it. Right, I'm going to go past now and then Whoa. the light We've got five minutes anyway. Right, hello over there. Okay. 
Happy birthday <laughs> to you. I'm sorry, it's so Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Thank you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate <laughs> that. Thank you so much. No, but did the place maybe here? No, that's absolutely fine. No, it's that's okay. absolutely yes, yeah. that's absolutely Big fine. Place to you maybe. Oh, thank you. That looks lovely. It's better. Wow. Just, we're here. Leave oh, a mug for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, that's so lovely. Have a nice birthday. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you. Apparently, it's from like a really special bakery. From um. Bloody looks like it. Yeah. Let's get a small. That's quite a big slice. I'm just gonna get. Yeah, but I want a big slice. Okay. So guys, we're now leaving Paris. We had an amazing time. The weather was actually really nice too. Uh, we saw some amazing cars. Drove around the Eiffel Tower. Drove around the Arc de Triomphe. And yeah, just had an amazing time. But now we are heading to Luxembourg. Just under a four hour drive. So hopefully it goes well. It is kind of getting a little bit tiring now. I'm not going to lie. So guys, we're just at the car wash right now. Check. The car wash is in France. You get a wheel cleaner. Yeah. You get, I'm assuming that's pre-wash. But what I really like about it is how they've got a separate kind of like gun for kind of each one and then it's got some instructions there. How cool is that? It's something like out of Windows XP, like Windows 2003. <laughs> like it's crazy. Show them the right, Leisha. That is crazy. The toll uh, where I think we may have left um, France now, Ali. Do you not know think? Keep going, um, yeah, there it is. Stop. 16.30. Guys, we're at this famous racetrack. Alicia's friends had recommended it. There's a GT3 there. Never been actually been to anything like this, so yeah, that is actually really cool. But yeah, we're going to quickly go have a bit of a picnic. I'm going to get some photos and stuff. But yeah, it looks really cool. It's, look, it's, it's like got Castrol Oil, SO, Dunlop Tire Logos, BP. Yeah, really cool. The roads in France, guys, absolutely lush. Like, I kid you not, like, I just want to absolutely wish. If my SC was here, I'd absolutely bomb it down here. Guys, I feel so sad. This GT3 just bombed it off, right? It made me feel so sad. I'm like, I had my F3 years old. Oh, oh God, but it's so cool. I mean, oh, I mean, I'm happy we're gonna have a picnic here, but still, like, what a place, really. Yeah, come on then. I'm just so sad. I know, I know. Oh, God, so sad. It's so sad. Anyway, we're gonna together. have a picnic. I bet it's so cool, isn't it? Like to see like all look, you can see all the chair numbers. So cars probably raced through here. I wonder if it was like Le Mans or something. But look at that ranch. So that, that goes yeah. underground and it comes out on the other side. Yeah. So this I don't know it's where 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 we are parked. It seems like a bit of a pit lane, but it's yeah. Like an, an old circuit type of thing. Yeah. Oh, we're not far now from the Luxembourg border. I don't know why I was going to say burger. That's where we are, and the border's there. So we're not far at all, but the weather is. Glorious. There was a little bit of rain earlier. It, it, to be fair, it's been like, like that here and there, yeah. Get it, get it, get it. That's fat, that. 200 mile per hour car, that. Guys, look at that. Concords. Be... There, look, you see the Air France Concorde, which is obviously now banned due to the crash. Guys, we just got to the Nov Hotel and in um, Luxembourg. Firstly, I love this X5. It's a new one, first edition, gorgeous. But this, wow, Turbo S, new one. I mean, 
it's got the aerial kit on it definitely i don't know it's like a sil it's like a, like a silvery gray gorgeous obviously it's got the carbon ceramics red roof red interior oh, carbon uh genuine carbon mirror caps but just look how gorgeous that is i mean honestly what a car it's come from zurich it's got a um, swiss number plate on there but guys we are in the second hotel the novotel i don't think i've ever stayed in the novotel before it's really nice um for anybody who's wondering separate wc uh but yeah really very 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 businessy i love a hotel with a sofa it's so much nicer but yeah let's go eat guys look at the public transport it's all free but look how nice that tram looks it looks so really futuristic spacious. yeah really futuristic we just ate at a place called burger bros it was really nice now heading into what i think is like the town center from police there but i don't know it doesn't really give big major city vibes it just gives small town vibes yeah the tram wow. is the tram's gorgeous yeah look at the different clean as well yeah that is my ultimate daily satin black macan oh, gts i don't even, i don't even care where it is but that is gorgeous that look at that q for q where oh, it was each one. you don't know your cars do you you <laughs> oh my god ember oh this is not a car spotting trip by no means but that is well nice I think it's port something blue but that is so nice oh it's from luxembourg alley it's got an l plate wow that is nice michelin's it's not got the super sport seats you know what that'd be like my perfect spec car that this is what i want next so good looking it's not a matter of will it's a matter of when because i'm getting that import isn't that right ali Whoa! There's a skate park here, Rand. I'm to drop that. So we weren't really too sure about looks of It's absolutely beautiful. It's quite it's really old nice. Yeah. Look at the view. I mean, this is just like pretty much in the centre. Um, beautiful walk if you wanted to do one. We're going to try to do it on the way back to our hotel, but gorgeous. Just like absolutely gorgeous. A really well maintained city. I'm so scared of heights. That is one place I would not want to sit. Like that scares me. Local, local bangers. Six. Oh, missed it. Damn. Guys, look at this. So I've come down in the car park today. We're leaving Luxembourg. RS5 performance. Just a, a regular coupe. It's still super good looking. I'm pretty sure it's a performance pack because I don't think those wheels come on the non-performance pack but look at this the rs6 and this is definitely a performance pack and you can tell by the new wheels those wheels are gorgeous and what i really like about it is the fact that it just this kind of spec the, what they've done on the performance edition is just amazing like it just this is exactly the way the rs6 should have come from the first gen of the of this new kind of design au revoir luxembourg Sugar, here we come. Yesterday must have been a holiday because today it's really busy. No, I think it's a Maybe it's we a got there. Maybe thing. we just got there late. No, I think we got there. We did get yeah, here but late. Lots quite of stuff actually. was shot on Wednesday. Yeah. How nice, like how clean were the buses as well, Ali, that we went on? Oh, yeah, it was really nice. Really nice, the buses. Really clean, really well maintained. And what Alicia told me was that this is basically like the hub for like investments. Investments, so investment banking and stuff. Yeah, like managing rich people's investments, I guess. Oh, interesting. But yeah, you can tell it's a really nice place and uh, people are really pleasant. Yeah. Really pleasant. Like, we've not had a... I think throughout the whole European trip, we've had good encounters, but Luxembourg in particular, everyone's really polite, really nice, really welcoming, really uh, endearing and whatnot. So one thing about Germany is we have to drive to a TUV station first and get a TUV sticker. So it's a mandatory in Germany, otherwise you get a fine on the spot and we don't want that. Uh, so... We're around three, three hours, 25 minutes away from Stuttgart. We're going to the Porsche Museum today and then we might go to the AMG Museum. If we have time. If we have time. It's not a priority because we're going to be going to the BMW Museum in any case. Guys, check how nice this 911 Targa is. It's gorgeous. Told you I'd get him. Quick, quick, he's leaving him. Uh, oh, look at the tyre width at the back. It's just ridiculous. 
Wow, that is specky that. Guys, me and Alicia have officially made it to Germany. So we have literally now left Luxembourg and we're in Germany, which is pretty cool. I mean, I think we're in No, we Germany. are. When I had a look at the maps, it literally says like, really? just crossed the way. I thought there'd be like border control or something, but yeah. I guess, I guess like, there just is it. If you think, so I don't know if you can see that, but where that little blue dot, and you can see the bold line, we're now outside of uh, Luxembourg, so we're officially in Germany. I mean, it is literally next door, so I can mm. imagine it's very easy to kind of cross, but yeah, I've just, since our last spoke to you guys, I've just been thinking about Porsches and heart rates and thinking what I want to come back here with, like, I don't know, there's so, always so much choice. So because we went away for two and a half weeks, I got loads of content, as you can imagine. So I'm going to split this video up into part one and part two. Now in part two, here's what's coming up. Rand's car is Euro 6, like, on paper. Um, <laughs> Rand won't get out the Porsche. <laughs> Is a piston ring that's what's basically, I think, broken on my engine. Check this out. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did I?